This episode of Soldier Knows Best is brought to you by Netflix. Go to netflix.com forward slash soldier for your free trial membership. Hey, what's up, guys? Soldier Knows Best here with a What's in My Doc video. I'm going to show you some of my favorite applications I'm running on my Mac right now. And the first application I'm going to show you is called FX Photo Studio Pro. And this is like the Instagram of photo editors, where it's very simple, very easy to use, and you have about 160 different effects that you can apply to your photos. And it's just something that just pick up and go. And uh, so right here, once you load up the, the photo that you want to start editing, you can scroll down here in the bottom here to all the different effects that you have here. Again, it's about 160 of them. Just simply click on them. Boom, it'll add that effect to your timeline. If I want to go to this one here, it'll change out that one. And also, you can adjust the, uh, the scale or whatever type of settings for each effect over here to the right to make them to your liking here. If you don't want that effect, just cancel it out. So also, too, if I really do like that effect, I can go ahead and favorite it. It'll show up in my favorites. So I want to keep scrolling around for it. And all these effects are broken down to different categories here. If I want to go to this one, I can go to this one and hit the Predator Vision effect. Well, that's not really the sound it makes. Uh, but anyway, hit the Predator uh, Vision there effect there. I can cancel that out if I wanted to. And once I get done um, adding an effect to my photo, I can easily share it to, um, after they process that, I can easily share it to Facebook, Tumblr, uh, Flickr, Twitter, or just email it to somebody um, once you log into those accounts. It also has basic things as far as cropping. And also you can adjust different things as far as the saturation the temperature the color balance all that stuff for photos so as you can see here the UI is just laid out again it's a very nice layout again something easy and simple to pick up to and something that if you want to add a very nice looking effect to a picture very fast without using something that's you know probably a little bit more advanced as Photoshop this is probably the application to get now this is the pro version of it I think it costs about 40 bucks so it's kind of expensive they also do offer just a regular version that has most of these effects and stuff um, for about 20 bucks so I really do like that application for photo editing now the next application I'm gonna show you is called carousel and this is I mentioned Instagram before and this is where people use Instagram which is a very uh, fun service for again adding different filters for uh, to pictures that you normally going to be taking on your cell phone your iPhone and uh, so you see right here I have the uh, application loaded up here and so if you don't want to keep having to check Instagram on your phone this is going to be the best bet for you and I'm just looking at all the pictures that I've uploaded here but also you can go through by hitting command one or command two you can go go to your regular feed of the people that you actually follow on instagram hit command two just to look at all the other popular pictures that people are taking there so this is uh something very nice to kind of make your instagram experience just a little bit easier uh so if you find a picture that you wanted to you can double tap on it to make it bigger if you wanted to you can also save it to your photos if you wanted to that kind of be a little bit more stalking save it to somebody else's instagram uh, but also you can add a comment you can look at the comments for it. you can look at the favorites if you wanted to and so what I'm gonna do here I'm just gonna snap a picture real quick here on my Instagram on my phone and I'm go ahead and set that up here hit done and that should be uploaded to Instagram so if I hit uh, refresh here boom there it is it'll pop right up there so I really like this for all the Instagram users out there and this is called carousel all right, the next app I'm going to show you is actually a game called Modern Combat Domination. And we're going to start off by saying this isn't any type of Call of Duty. You know, it's nothing near that type of caliber of game, but it's a very fun game. One of the best first person shooters you can find on the Mac platform, just not that many to choose from. And also for the price, it's about 13 bucks. You can't really beat that. And um, it's starting the game here. You have a certain amount of money you can use to spend uh, to buy different weapons, grenades, some armor. I'm just going to buy this other weapon here. Go ahead and hit play. And I'm going to start playing. This is the extraction mode. I got to go into this warehouse and get this briefcase from the enemy. Me. And uh, so right now I'm going to be playing with some bots here. You, again, you can play multiplayer online against humans or bots as well. And one of the downfalls of all the games is that not that many are not that many people are actually playing this game. Um, so we go online, not gonna have that many people. But of course you can get your friends and stuff to play. And uh, again, the bots aren't the smartest in the world, but if you get in front of them, they, they'll they'll try to take you out. And I'm spraying away here, trying to get in here. So if you have a sprint button here, what I'm going to be showing to me next to me is actually one of the multiplayer games on um, game types online that I played. And it had, a, it had about a couple of human players in it. And so again, I'm not going to play this game too much here, but got that guy. But you can kind of get a sense of the game and how it actually uh, functions, how it actually works. And I think one of my teammates already grabbed the briefcase and he's running home. So anyway, this is Modern Combat Domination. You can get it right now from the Mac App Store. And the last application I'm going to show you is called Weather HD. And this is one of the most popular weather applications on any iOS device like an iPad or iPhone. It just gives you a nice visual representation of what the weather is in your area. So you can add multiple cities here from St. Louis to New York. I'm going to go back to St. Louis here. And it gives you the seven-day, about a seven-day outlook here, of course. You can go through it by day there. Also, you can break it down hourly. So I know around about 7 p.m. But we're going to be getting some thunderstorms here. And just, it, this is just very pleasing to the eye. But also, you have a map section here. You can go in and see the map radar here. And you can scroll around the map. Really, I think all across the world you can actually do if you wanted to. I don't know whether to load up or not in Africa. 
but no, it probably won't. But for at least for where you're at, at least from the U.S., you can see that. And also, you can look at the moon, different things for all my werewolves out there. And also, severe notices here, which is very important, especially around tornado season here out here in Missouri. So anyway, this is a quick little uh, look at Weather HD. It's a very fun application, very nice to look at. And also, it's up here in your menu bar. We can have a quick look about what the weather is in your area. Anyway, guys, before we head out of here, let's take one last look at our sponsor for this video, and that is Netflix. Netflix delivers movies directly to your home, saving you time and money. Instantly watch thousands of TV shows and movies streaming directly to your PC, Mac, or right to your TV via a Netflix-ready device like a PS3, Xbox 360, and Nintendo Wii console. Plus, get DVDs by mail in about one business day, and as a new member and a Soldier Knows Best viewer, you can get a free trial membership by going to netflix.com forward slash soldier and signing up now, and be sure to use this URL so they know that we sent you. All right, guys, well, thanks for watching this video. Please leave a comment down below about what you think about these applications. Also, let me know about some applications that you may want to see me cover in the future. And thanks for watching, guys, and I will catch you later. Peace.